Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I wasn't actually supposed to be filming today but I kind of realised that today I've actually got quite a long day at uni. It's going to be a full day for me so I thought I'd take you along with me for the full day. I've seen a couple of YouTubers do this. I think Kiara Madison did it. If I can find it I'll link it below. But basically, obviously I talk a lot about my uni but I don't really take you in with me very often. Um, for obvious reasons, but since I have got a full day of uni today, or a full day of uni I should say, I thought it'd be really fun to take you with me and kind of show you what I've been talking about as well as just talking about it. Um, but basically it's currently 10 o'clock, I've already had a very productive morning, I got up at half past nine, no I got up at nine, um, obviously not super productive because I got up at nine, but I'm a, I'm a uni student now, it's the only time I'm going to be allowed to sleep in. So I got up at nine, tidied the house, put away all the washing, and picked up clothes from upstairs, started packing for my trip to Brighton this weekend, and it's currently 10 o'clock. So, and obviously I got dressed and everything. So I think that's a pretty productive morning, but basically I have a group meeting at 11 until 12, and then from 12 till five, I have uni, and this is my longest day. Um, I only go into uni on Tuesdays and Fridays, and Fridays I'm only in for three hours. <laughs> I nearly said five, three hours, but today I'll be in for six, and I only have one hour gap today which I basically use as my lunch, but I also need to do an assignment in that hour. So it's going to be a busy day, but I thought, <laughs> I thought what a better day to take you along for the ride with me. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, hit the thumbs up. I'll try and update you as I go, as like talking to you about what I'm doing when I'm doing it. But I am actually going to leave a bit earlier. My group meeting's in the library, but I want to leave a bit early to catch some b-roll for you of the area and things, you know how it is. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to leave in about 20 minutes, but I'll give you a quick outfit of the day because they're always fun. Yeah, so like I said, I'm at uni all day, so I wanted a comfy outfit. That is always key for me, especially if I'm going to be sitting down for six hours. So I've got this blue jumper. This is probably my favourite jumper ever, um, or the most worn one at least, from H&M. I think this was like £18, pounds, um, and I've just got like a little light blue t-shirt underneath because have to layer because the library gets quite warm and then for the bottom half I've got these kind of funky trousers from Pull&Bear and they're just brown and blue check which is a bit of a random random shade but I think they go quite well with this jumper I like it a lot and I've just thrown my hair in a half bun thing with a brown scrunchie that my sister bought me because I can't be bothered to try hard, you know? Everyone at this point, it's like the ninth week of uni or the tenth week, so been there for over two months now and everyone's just kind of stopped trying, which I love because we can all embrace our inner sloths and just be comfy together. So <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling and get going to uni. So group work was semi-productive and I'm now just off to my first lecture.
off to my second lecture of the day. So for some reason the camera doesn't want to focus on my face, but uni is now done, it's half past four, super dark, I've got the brightness turned up as far as I can on this thing, um, but I'm about to walk home and get cosy, but I'll chat to you more when I'm there. Might pop in a few charity shops on the way back to see if they've got any cute tops for my trip to Brighton this weekend, but that is the plan. I'm very happy uni is done, it was a pretty productive day, but I'm just really tired. <laughs> I'm home and the heating is on and I've had a cup of tea so I'm feeling cosy but my god it's still chilly. I think it's about six or like five degrees right now outside and my house is not very warm so hopefully the heating kicks in soon but I thought I'd catch you up about my day because it was quite hard to kind of communicate what I was doing just because I had so many lectures back to back. Um, but basically I started off with my group work as you saw which was for venue management which I've got a presentation for in two weeks, so that was like semi productive. We just kind of chatted through what we had each done for the presentation. Then, straight after that, I had a lecture in event policy, and that was a guest speaker, which was really good actually. I really enjoy having guest speakers just because I feel like they try a little bit harder, I think, than the normal lecturers. Like, don't get me wrong, obviously, the normal lecturers put in so much work, but for a guest lecturer, they need you to like them and to be really engaged with their lecture in that one hour and that's it they're never going to get a second chance kind of thing so I just feel like you know it's something new it's a bit fresh and exciting so that was really cool I really enjoyed that and then I would have had a tutorial which is basically like a classroom style lecture I guess we do activities and stuff I would have had that tutorial straight after that lecture but it was actually cancelled because we've got a school trip coming up a school trip <laughs> They've got a trip, uni is having a trip, I don't know what you call it when it's higher education, but they're having a trip, so there was a meeting for that instead, so I just chilled for two hours. I say chilled, did not chill, I edited for two hours, and it just went so quickly. I also had some lunch, which was nice, but I edited my wardrobe decluttering video, which that's not going up for like a few months, or like at least two months, so I don't know why I uploaded it, or edited it now, but that's what I spent my time doing. And it was just a lot because I'm trying to do it so that each item I either keep or get rid of, I like count. But it was hard to having to keep adding the numbers because sometimes they didn't match up, like I'd miss an item. So then I had to push all the numbers back one and it was intense and I kind of regret making that decision. But I think it would be cool when it's done. So subscribe if you want to stick around to see that. But then I had another lecture at three, which was venue management, so it's the same as the group work I was doing, but the actual actual lecture for it, so that was pretty interesting. It was like um, about venue like marketing, so a little bit different from event management, but still relevant. And then I had the tutorial for that until half past four, just because our lecture wasn't feeling very well, so she had to leave early, which was a shame, but can't avoid it um but yeah so the, by that time it was dark and it had been raining all day which was really sad because it was so gloriously sunny this morning and it made my soul so happy but it didn't rain walking home which was a godsend it was just a bit wet and i did pop into the charity shop on the way home and i found a goodies which i thought i would share with you so i am going to brighton on friday to see my friend brooke and i'm staying there for the weekend but we're going out for dinner slash drinks on the Friday and I know I just said I did a wardrobe declutter but I, whilst doing that declutter I found that I didn't really have many nice going out tops and my friends will laugh at this because they always borrow my stuff for going out but a lot of them were cropped and I'm kind of past that stage and I just prefer longer tops and I just didn't have any like nice going out ones like ones which were maybe a little bit sexy, a bit glam so that's what I was looking for and I came across this I'm struggling to show you because there's so many straps that are like all tangled give me a minute that's why it's crossed over at the back it is this bodysuit don't know if you see it, it's like pants on the bottom I'm not sure if this is underwear or not because it's by Ann Summers so I really need to try it on and see how like see-through this is, but either way it's cute. 
Um, but I thought this would be really good because you wouldn't get a pant line because like it's literally pant material which I thought would be really good but it's just this kind of like crossover v-neck with a basically no back so I'm going to try that on and see what it looks like should I try it on with you guys? I'll try it on with you guys because I always hate it when people show stuff and don't try it on I'll try it on even though it's freezing in my house so please be thankful that I'm doing this for you taking off my jumper but this gem as I said was Anne Summers I think it's a size 10 it doesn't have the size on it but it's in the size 10 rack um, but it was a pound one pound for this baby and I think it will look really nice with just some black jeans and some boots um, and like a big leather jacket thrown over I think that'll be really cute but yeah everything in that charity shop is a pound because they're actually closing and opening up another one like a hundred meters down the road but makes it good for some cheap shopping and it is thrifted so I don't feel bad buying it because I actually was going to buy one quite similar to this on Misguided but I just didn't want to do the whole fast fashion thing you know I'm trying trying to be good it's very difficult especially with Christmas coming up but this was thrifted so a bit more environmentally friendly but let's try it on and see what it looks like you also can't try stuff on in the charity shop which is why it's good that it's only pound because I don't feel bad if this doesn't work so I'll try it on wish me luck I'm not sure if I'll be in focus but I think it's quite cute. I haven't got a bra on but hopefully you can't see through it if you can. Maybe I'll do another version with my hands in front. But the only thing I'm questioning is the back is like very low. I'm not sure if the straps are cold either, sorry if that's annoying you. But it might be too cold to wear it on Friday, that's my only thing. I didn't actually look at the back of it when I bought it. But I think it's really cute. Like the material's cute, like I like the shape and you, obviously I would wear it with black jeans. Or even blue jeans would look cute, like some mum jeans. Yeah, this was a pound. Very cute. And no pant line. Yeah, I like it. Happy days. Oh gosh, I hope you realise that I had to get fully undressed just to try that on because there were no poppers or anything on the bodysuit. But yeah, I'm really happy that worked out. We'll have to see what the weather does like on Friday as to whether I can wear it and kind of like what Brooke's wearing because... I don't want to be too dressy or anything but I'm very pleased with that for a pound from Anne Summers thank you very much if you do want to see what I end up wearing go check out my Instagram because I'm sure there's plenty of pictures there can't do a girly weekend away without taking a few snaps but that is it for this vlog I think I really hope you've enjoyed it seeing like a full day's worth of uni I will hopefully do this again in like the spring when there's a bit more light and everything's a bit more chill and I'm a bit more settled into my routine because hopefully I can talk you through it a bit more but hopefully you got the gist of it if you did like it please hit thumbs up and subscribe down below and i will see you very soon bye